Good morning everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing fine. So today our subject today is science. We are in unit 5 investigating materials from our lesson 5.2 sorting materials from our learner's book page 48 and 49. So I would like you to take your book, take your book and sit down continue to watch the video our learning objective is by the end of this lesson you'll be able to know that every material has specific properties such as hard soft and shiny and also by the end of this lesson you'll be able to sort materials according to their properties so before we start our lesson today I'd like you to go back and remember what we did last week. Last week we learned about properties of materials and we find out what is the meaning of materials. We, 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 um, we mentioned types of materials and the properties of materials. Our keywords today is we are going to know the meaning of hard, soft, dull and shiny so please take your notebook and write them down all right let's continue a material can be put in a group this material are sorted into hard and soft can you see this material are sorted into hard and soft as we can see all this material these are hard and what is the meaning of hard? Hard is something which can't be bent easily. Then look at the material that are soft. What is the meaning of soft? Soft meaning is something which is not hard. Is it clear? Go. Now let's check these properties. Okay, the meaning of shiny and dull. What is the meaning of shiny? Shiny means the material that reflects a lot of light. And dull is material that reflects less light. So as you can see, all these pictures are the materials that reflect a lot of light. And this dull are the materials that reflect less light. So this is how we sort the material into groups. Okay, now let's try this one together. Okay, we are going to sort materials according to their properties using Venn diagram. This is our Venn diagram. This side is strong, flexible, and in the middle is what you put both strong and flexible. So look at these materials and look at the, where are we going to put them so try to do it then our answers is in the next slide now check your answers check your answers were you correct were you correct good good so let's continue now i would like you to try this write your answers in your science notebook okay write three different material that are waterproof first of all you need to know what is the meaning of waterproof number two is write all the properties you can think of for plastic do you know what are plastic good now write the answers then check your answers down the next slide now check your answers write three different materials that are waterproof of course we know is plastic rubber and metal then number two write all the properties you can think of for plastic plastic are waterproof light flexible can be strong or weak are we together Bravo. Now it's your time to 
to practice, open your activity book and complete your work. Your activity book on page, on page, page 28. Finish your work, take photo and send to me. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.